What's up guys, Mike here. I've been getting a lot of emails from people asking me a question that they are confused about. And that question is whether it's better for them to invest in a Roth IRA or a traditional 401k. Now this is a really complicated answer and it's not a one size fits all approach. I figured to make a video about this to help you find and decide which one is better for you and which one will give you the most amount of money in the long run as well. I made an earlier video about what a Roth IRA account is, so if you don't know what it is, the link will pop up right here. Go ahead and click it, check it out, learn about it, and come back to this video because it's going to make a lot more sense to you that way as well. So if you're confused which one to invest in or which one is best for you, be sure to check this video to the end so you understand the concepts because it could save you tens of thousands or even hundreds of thousands of dollars. I pretty much will guarantee you a difference between these two, so make sure to watch this video to the end, and be sure to smash that like button if you haven't already. So let's start with a little background with the king of the crop, the almighty Roth IRA. This is a retirement account where you contribute post-tax money up to $6,000 per year, and when you're at the age of 59 and a half, anything you withdraw from this account and all the profits inside this account is completely tax free you never pay anything to the government from making any profits in this account this means you can make decades and decades of compounded interest of hundreds of thousands of dollars in profits without ever paying a single penny to the government in taxes so here are some of the benefits of having a Roth IRA account First, like I mentioned, all the profits you make in this account is 100% tax-free after you start withdrawing after the age of 59 and a half. This account can make you tons of money, even a millionaire by the time you retire, especially if you start doing this early on. Second, with the Roth IRA account, any of the money you contribute to this account, you can withdraw at any time without ever paying any taxes or penalty on it. So this means if you contribute $6,000 this year into this account and next year it's worth $7,000, you could withdraw your initial $6,000 at any time without paying any taxes or penalty on it. But you must leave any profits you make into this account. This gives you a tons of flexibility in the event that you need your money unexpectedly. However, unfortunately, there is no such thing as a free lunch, so here are some of the downsides to this. First thing, with a Roth IRA account, you contribute post-tax money, which means you already pay taxes on the money that you contribute to this account. So, of course, the money that's left over after you pay taxes on it is a lot less than the amount of money that you would have before you had any taxes taken out of it. So, this leaves you with less money up front to invest with, all things considered. Second, if you want to withdraw any of the profits you made in this account before the age of 59 and a half, you'll be subjected to a 10% penalty and you have to pay ordinary taxes on it, which defeats the entire purpose of contributing to a Roth IRA account in the first place. Third, the contribution limit to a Roth IRA account is capped at $6,000 per year. So if you want to contribute more to it, well, you can't. So how does this compare to a traditional 401k, you ask? The traditional 401k is an employee-sponsored retirement account where you contribute pre-tax money into this account which means you don't pay any taxes on any of the money you contribute to this account. Because you don't pay any taxes on the money you contribute to this account, now you have more money to go and invest with instead of paying taxes to the IRS. With the extra money you have now, you can go and invest and make even more money with it. Then after the age of 59 and a half, you can start withdrawing from your 401k, but that is the time when you start paying taxes on it. Basically, you're avoiding paying taxes now just to pay taxes later when you start withdrawing from it. Just like the Roth IRA account, here are some of the positives with the traditional 401k. The pros of doing this is that you contribute pre-tax money, which means this is money that is not taxed, which is a tax write-off. For example, if you're in the 32% tax bracket and you contributed the full $19,000, you just saved $6,080 in taxes. This means you have an additional $6,080 to go and invest with to work for you instead of paying to the IRS right now. Second, you can contribute up to $19,000 in a traditional 401k versus only $6,000 in a Roth IRA. Third, some employers offer an employer match, which means they match you dollar for dollar up to a certain amount that you contribute to the account. 
in terms of investment ROI, this is the best risk-free guaranteed 100% return on your money that you will ever get in your entire life. So always take the match. I repeat, always take the employer match no matter what. And also, always smash that like button if you haven't already. But for real, always take the employer match money no matter what. Do it for yourself, do it for your kids, do it for your family. Always take it no matter what. Call your HR department tomorrow or even today and ask them if they offer an employer-sponsored match 401k plan. And if they do, take it right away. Make sure you contribute right away to this and do not delay. This is free money that you are missing out on. But of course, with that said, unfortunately, there are some downsides with the traditional 401k as well. First one is that even though you don't pay any taxes on that money now and you save all of that and invest with it, but once you turn 59 and a half and you start withdrawing from it, you start paying taxes on it then and there. With a 401k, hopefully you're saving money now because you're in higher tax brackets because later on you know that you're going to be working much less and you're going to be in lower tax brackets when you start withdrawing from the account. So then you end up profiting the difference. Second, if you want to take out any amount of money from your traditional 401k before the age of 59 and a half for any other reason other than financial hardship, you'll be subjected to a 10% penalty and you also have to pay ordinary income taxes on it as well. This is a lot higher than you pay on long-term capital gain because you hold the investments for a long period of time. Third, you're going to be forced to start withdrawing from this account at the beginning of age of 70 and a half. But if you want to keep money in there and keep it growing, well, you can't. With all that said, which one is a better option for you and which one should you contribute to? Let's start with the Roth IRA account. This is done with post-tax money, meaning you didn't get any tax deductions on the money you contributed to this account. This is best when you're young and you're in a low tax bracket and you're not making as much money right now. Basically, it's best to have a Roth IRA account when you know you're going to be in a low tax bracket right now and you're going to be making a lot more money down the line. On the other hand, if you're going to be in a high tax bracket right now and you're going to be in a low tax bracket in the future, a Roth IRA account right now would not be your best choice and the 401k would be a better option. For example, let's say you run a business and right now your business is making you $400,000 per year. But you know this won't last forever and you don't expect to be making more than $60,000 a year by the time you're 60. In this case, you're in a high tax bracket right now and by the time you retire, you expect to be in a lower tax bracket. In this case, it would be smarter for you to take the 401k tax deduction so you pay the taxes later down the line over choosing the Roth IRA account because you're going to be profiting the difference and save the rest if you choose the 401k over the Roth IRA account when you're in a higher tax bracket now versus being a lower tax bracket later down the line. This is how the account should be prioritized. And in reality, most people in retirement will not need as much income as they do now. By the time you retire, you have already paid off your home and you will not be working full time either. Because of that, you won't need as much money then and you will be in a much lower tax bracket when you withdraw from your 401k account and you'll be paying a lot less taxes then. People in this position who are making a lot of money now and who don't expect to continue making a lot of money down the line, it would make more sense for them to take the traditional 401k deduction. If you expect to be in a lower tax bracket when you retire, this would be more ideal for you. However, there are people who expect to be making a lot of money in retirement. You know, I expect to be one of those people as well. Another concern I have when it comes to a 401k is that you don't know what taxes will be 30, 40 years down the line. It could be a lot higher then than it is now today. The tax rate can be significantly more in the future. And if this is the case, you could be paying a lot more in taxes on the same amount of money you're making today. Here's my recommendation of what I would do. This is not financial advice. This is for entertainment purposes only. That's my disclaimer. So there, nobody get upset. I just wanted to let you know, don't ever do or make decisions based off someone you hear on YouTube. Make sure to always do your own research before you make your final decision. So if it was me and you're young and you're in a low tax bracket, you should prioritize your Roth IRA account because you expect to be making a lot more money down the line. You won't regret it when you're older and I expect your tax-free money to be more valuable in the future. On the other hand, if you're making a ton of money now and you don't expect this to last forever in the future, just go ahead and prioritize the 401k right now. So in the future, you'll switch over to the Roth IRA account. 
So take the tax write-off now while you're in a high tax bracket because you know you don't expect to be in a higher tax bracket later down the line and you're going to be in a lower tax bracket in the future and you're going to be paying a lot less taxes as well. Having a good mix between these might even give you a better balance between having these two. I contribute to both of these just to hedge my options. I have no idea if this is the smartest choice, but I'm just trying to hedge as many options as I can possible just in case in the future I did the right thing. I usually go pretty heavy with the Roth IRA account because I know in the future this is 100% tax free and I don't have to question what my taxes will be if it's going to be higher or lower. You can also look into something called a Roth 401k. It's similar to a Roth IRA account, except it has a contribution limit of $19,000 instead of the $6,000. This works out really well if you want to contribute a lot more than the Roth IRA account limit that it has on it. If you're still confused about this topic because it's a pretty complicated topic to explain, I have included a calculator at the bottom of the description box below which will tell you how much money you'll have left over with each of these options for your own tax bracket. So be sure to check that out. With that said, thanks for watching my video. I really appreciate it. As always, make sure to smash that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so YouTube could alert you when the next video comes out. Also, feel free to add me on Instagram. I pretty much post there daily. So if you want to be part of that, feel free to add me there. Also, if you want two free stocks from the stock market, Webull is giving two free stocks. One for just signing up to use their platform and a second one just for making any amount in deposit. Could be $5, $10, any amount. They'll give you a second stock worth up to $1,400. So be sure to check the link in the description below for that. Also, Robinhood gives out a free stock, so check out the link in the description below for that as well. Thanks again for watching my videos, and until next time, make money with Mike.